Mock. Hello internet, this is Island of the Game Paradox and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. So this came out this came out uh, sometime in the last month, uh, December. Uh, it's January now, the, the third to be exact. And I am going to be playing this for you all, you are lovely people. Uh, let's get started. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> there is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Oh Whatever yeah, the do. wrong choice that I made that everybody oh, else made the right oh, choice for. I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance! I swear to thee. We shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If I also realized I could have made them it's, smack. It's just right making here. me feel like shit that this life you're describing. Could have made up right here from this moment. What but, would it take know, to convince I you? I chose the bracelet thing because okay. Why and then this. Can't you just tell me the fucking truth. Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. And here we back up. Oh, what? Here we are back. Okay, hold on. I've got to put the subtitles on. Not yet. Okay. No. Where do I get subtitles? I don't know. It's gone! Where the hell is it? Sorry, it's gonna get annoying. <laughs> oh, there we are. Audio and subtitle settings, of course. Freaking course. There we go. No, yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Continue with the story. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Okay. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. Oh, nice imagery. I like it. Series. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? I like this imagery. Looking through to the truth. Chloe. I'm here. I'm right here. Good. I need you. Okay, can, can we move around? Can, can we move around? Bloody hell, what's up with this controller? Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this controller. Wow, 
was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Oh my word, just like, just, just like um, Rachel. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. This is this is so cool. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. Damn. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. Was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was a destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Don't do drugs, kids. Of, of her own dog. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. And then reunion. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. Not after all the people she hurt. Oh. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again, and again, and again, to keep you safe. Damn.
So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. True. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <laughs> Rachel, I think I need to lie down. Sure, we, we were just ready to go and... <laughs> she's gonna faint. She's not walking right, she's gonna freaking faint. Now I'm gonna get the, the, the bad part. Do I, I want to? I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Okay, let's just see what we got. So, you got anything in the journal? Um, if you'd like to read that, take pause right now. There you go. And now we find out about Sarah. If you find, if you find about her, just pause. Okay, now we're gonna go to SMS. Group SMS. And Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. I already texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. <laughs> hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Oh, Brooke, we haven't seen this since the first game. Thanks, I can't. But you were amazing. Without you there. Without you, there would have been no show. Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. Jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. Okay. Uh, let's do some exploring. Let's ask... Oh. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. Damn. Damn, girl. Damn. Uh, we looked at this last time, so... Uh, Did we tag this? Can't believe I was feeling goofy enough to draw that just a few hours ago. It's been a few hours? Holy crap. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering uh. everything. <laughs> okay, Rose. Do you need any help with anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway, door to the left of the fridge. Okay, we'll do it. Damn, this is such an eerie atmosphere. Oh. Hey, cool graphic. Rachel was really getting rid of this. Aww. So are we gonna give it to her or just do it for her? Nope, nope, no. oh. Nope, just do it for her. Okay, I mean, just give it to her. Here you go. Thank you. Anything else? I'm really quite glad that you're here. 
Thanks. But why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. Yay. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. Yeah. It's fine. Rachel's the one who's really upset. She has every reason to be. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Um. Um. Oh. Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It oh. gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. Okay. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. Oh. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me. Or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. We, we've been kind of wrong about these parents, like, they were such douchebags earlier, but now, <laughs> is it morning? Rachel took that pretty hard. I should see if she's okay. I don't know, does this mean it's morning or the light's on outside? <laughs> I just want to know, because we were here at night, and, uh... <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Mr. Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. Afraid Sarah would do. I I don't How understand. How don't you understand this? Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? Well, I don't Chloe. think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Oh. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby Listen anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. Rachel's not going to want to leave that. Try the truth, or I will. Ah, uh, fine. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are, too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her, too, you know? I know. Thank you. You're sitting on the table. <laughs> a little coffee table. And now we got up to Rachel.
good stuff. I love how much detail Dead 9 put into making these rooms. Like, holy crap! The, the world is so Rachel? amazingly detailed. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Holy crap, I am like. This is amazing. Just look at this. We've never met this character before, but her room completely captures her personality. The whole star thing. Literally a star. <laughs> Seems she likes astrology. And Asia. And colors. <laughs> Rachel might not survive her family, but at least she'll survive the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Dear Miss Arcadia, what's the real deal with that fire north of town? And when's it going to come down here and incinerate us all in the fiery hug of death? Asking for a friend. First, first, no. Didn't the fire start the day after Firewalk was here? Hmm. <laughs> this is a strange one, friends. ABFD source. Let's say they've never seen anything like it. No idea where it came from. No idea why it lasted this long. Total mystery. Time to put on the, your tinfoil hats and start speculating. There's a dragon with matches loose on the town. Prescott's like 50% serious. Why only 50? Prescott's as shady as shit. You really put this past them? They probably had some incriminating evidence to burn, or better yet, bodies. Not to mention the chemtrails. Is the chemtrails they drop all over town? Highly flammable. Elkham's razor, people. Just some kids getting high in the woods. As for the weirdness, this town is weird. What else is weird? What? Why male models? <laughs> what? At Z, we are built on an Indian burial ground. We are, are we not? <laughs> At King Walls, native people's burial ground. And no, we're not. At King Walls, burial, burn, burn. I get it. Huh? I, I've, I've lost myself. <laughs> I've lost. I've I've lost it here. Oh, that's that's even worse. Um, <laughs> oh, let's look at our planner. Graffiti? No, I don't want to. Graffiti Rachel's right. always made being an A student seem so easy. Almost sad to see all this effort. I think Rachel could use another subject, but which one? Which one indeed? Anatomy or herbology? <laughs> I know where herbology is going. I'm sure all of you watching this know where it's That's going. That's the one. Puffer versus boss. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder 
whatever fits her way of feeling connected. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. Something Rachel said, something I said. Something I said. Back on the train, I said... Let me know if you need an compass. That's cool. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. Well, now there's picture proof. Okay. What else is there to look at? Night lights. Turn on. Oh, that's cool. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now <laughs> on. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. Oh, that's nice. So I know how one way we can darken the room. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. So how do we make this brighter? Is it Powered by batteries? We were so close to making our break last night. Now, is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? No. Yeah. <gasps> That's how we can make it brighter. Ah! <gasps> yes! Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home, doesn't matter if that's it's after you. Yeah. Mama can't right now, please. There's no way it perfectly fits like that. Oh, come on. <laughs> All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. You might like it. Good work. I've always Sally. loved stars. I've I've loved stars too. Why? I once aspired to be you a astronomer. Remind us, there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. Holy crap! That's what her dad told her. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all lies. No, it just took a while to get here. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. 
my entire life. My dad. <laughs> my mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Aww. Oh, what is maybe gonna lead to? I don't know. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. Oh no. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. You should take it back. No. There's nowhere else I'd rather keep it than radio. Okay, I'm gonna listen to some music quick. Let the demonetization roll. I freaking love this band that they're using, Daughter. Like, holy crap. Some of these songs. She's here right now. Sorry, I had to do that quick. She came here in a corridor for me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I've got an idea. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. I mean, she's still on the drugs, Of though. course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got that one covered, too. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. I know you will. But even if we find her, 
How will I talk to her? What do I say? It doesn't matter. After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams, he's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. Oh no. No, 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 it's not another one of these dreams. Damn it. Okay. I guess it's another one of these dreams. The hell? stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. Yeah. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? going on Ugh. what's wrong don't you see anything like what there's nothing here really that's odd well I know it's not the spark plug I just got that replaced. What? I said it's not the spark plug! The hell? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's... It's all just... theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. The world's a stage. Something about the whole world being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. 
I just want to be myself. Can you be Give me a break. Hmm. Why is the crow always well, there? Maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think dark. you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlight. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Oh. Ah. Uh. What the hell? It's so messed up. Oh, shut up. Holy, it always surprises me, those things. Like, jeez. Oh, are you home now? Is Luis finally back home? Mm. Luis is finally back home. It's been a while. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? Chill, I've got it. Jeez, would you relax? I have it with me, okay? I'm coming to get it right now. I have a favor to ask you. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman who was in your RV yesterday. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. I'm in the junkyard in two hours. It, bring the fucking money. Okay. <sighs> Sweet. I've got your money. Thanks, man. You were real. <laughs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Thank you for being there for me last night. I'm feeling a lot better, but guess what? Hmm? You kick ass? Okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard towers. I think he can get us in touch with Sarah. Holy crap! Yep, I'm still at my house, just showering and grab tools for the trap. So, meet a junkyard? I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Okay, more journal. If you'd like to read, pause now. Is this the new one? 5, 8, 10. 5, 9, 10. And then we'll get to 3, 5, 10. Jeez, it's been two months. It's all well, the first one, I guess. Okay. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. Uh huh. How many absences this year? Nothing, okay. Inaccurate as of yesterday. 
Yeah. Someone should update this photo. So where is... Okay, so that's Rachel Amber, it doesn't look much like her. And there's Chloe, okay. Wait, Warren? Uh, hold on. Inaccurate as of yesterday. It's Warren! Someone should update this photo. Is Warren the guy from the last game? I think it is. Yeah, there's Alyssa. There's Justin. Uh, clearly at Dana there. Evan and then Stella. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Figures. Sarah Gearhart. Uh, one result. Winchester High School gives Fisher Award to Sarah Gearhart. March 16, 1989, each year Winchester High School grants the Fisher Award, named after famous explorer Robert Fisher, to the student who best... That's about it. Try another search. <laughs> the heck? Um, what? Subject. Victoria says comment on a photo you're taking. View this photo and make sure you click on the following link. Does it work? No, it doesn't work. Nice to see my work is appreciated. Just in case you needed more proof that Blackwell is better off without Chloe Price. So that's what girls take forever doing in the bathroom. Mad respect. No one asked you, Trevor. Boom. Wow, Chloe, that was classy. It's awesome, though. It's like the coolest graffiti I've ever seen. Ever. That's one hell of a magic marker she's got. A further layer of nuance. <laughs> Nathan almost pissed himself. <laughs> Thou art an idiot. <laughs> I'm not gonna read Whoa. this. Skips in a band? D we, we clarified this in the first episode, didn't we? Okay. Look. So much has changed. Yeah. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dad's jacket. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Mm -hmm. Have I ever watered that? Oh. Uh, better than nothing. <laughs> sure. Sorry, Ward. I've got a real ride to fix up now. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Shine. Stan Stanwick here, bringing you up to the minute coverage of stuff that's interesting on 87.9 The Seder. Please welcome Sergeant Alex Keller with the Arcadia Bay Police Department to the show. Sergeant Keller, drug use in Arcadia Bay is on the rise, is that right? Unfortunately, yes. There has recently been a spike in the use of heroin. Okay, bye. Heroin? You'd uh, think a small town like Arcadia Bay would be Is mom playing music? Huh. So I was right all along, Rachel Amber is a fucking evil bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're her little sidekick now. Yep. I've had it with the school. Nobody gave a crap about me last night. It was all about... It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh man, when you try to drug someone and then it bites you in the ass. It's just the worst. <laughs> Where the hell is mine? 
Yep, they okay. moved in. My towel's probably in here somewhere. Gross. Manly grip for <laughs> nice. <laughs> Super grip hist. <laughs> Manly grip from it. <laughs> I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Lots of washcloths. No towel. No awesome pirate towel. Hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. No. Oh. I guess this is how the blue hair starts. Ready for the best shower of my life. Oh. Yes! I love the music! Yeah, I've, I've got to shazam this quickly. So I'm just going to plug my headphones up. Let's see how this works. I love this music! This is such a good song! Showers are always good. What do I feel like wearing? Check the bonus outfits. No thanks. I don't want classic Chloe. I want. Oh. Yeah, I, I want good clothes. Which one's this? Hot dog man. I'm go. Naughty, no. I think I'll wear dragon. Yeah, dragon is. Just... Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. I like that. Alright. That's cool. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. So we're gonna be sneaking downstairs now. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? Very, very slim. I can imagine.